Hello and welcome to Credit Matters TV. I'm David Peckney and I will be your host today. We are joined by David Kaplan, a credit analyst in our corporate health care group. Dave, welcome. Thank you. We recently published an article that discussed the uh, rating impact of litigation on medical device companies. What are some of the key takeaways from that? Okay, so uh, for medical device companies, litigation tends to be particularly common, uh, especially product liability. Uh, and it's particularly relevant now because there's a number of litigation issues going on, including pelvic mesh products and metal on me metal uh, hip implant products. And, and so what we, uh, the article tries to do is to explain uh, our approach to that, uh, how we think about it, and to address some of the common questions. So, I mean, more specifically, I would say the key takeaway is you know, where the information is available, we tend to burden EBITDA uh, with litigation expenses and we tend to burden our measure of debt uh, with legal reserves, typically as they're recorded on the balance sheet. Is this treatment new? So it, it's somewhat new. It really relates to uh, the revision in criteria uh, that was introduced back in 2013. Um, so in terms of the adjustment to EBITDA, you know, as part of that, uh, criteria introduction, we expanded the category of expenses that we burden EBITDA with to include items that are operating in nature, uh, items that are recurring. And so, you know, we view litigation as being very much uh, characterized as operating in nature uh, in this sector, especially. Um, and, and so that's the EBITDA. On, on the debt side, uh, that also relates to the, to the criteria. Uh, back in, at the end of 2013, uh, we shifted emphasis in the U.S to focus more on a net debt based credit metrics. Uh, and so, whereas previously we often looked at the cash on balance sheet as being an offset to the legal reserves, uh, now that we're accruing the benefit of that cash uh, against debt in our net debt metrics, uh, we now uh, feel that it's appropriate to burden the debt with the legal reserves. Uh, interesting. Uh, can these adjustments uh, lead to rating actions? They certainly could. Uh, it would be unusual, but it certainly could happen. Uh, you know, we use our adjusted uh, metrics to, in terms of our credit ratios, and that's, that's what drives our financial risk assessment, and that's a, a key element of our, our rating analysis. Uh, I mean, one example of that recently was we changed the financial risk assessment for Boston Scientific uh, from significant to aggressive, uh, really driven you know, a lot by the, the burden of these adjustments. Uh, the report talks about some other companies and how that these adjustments influence the financial risk assessment for them. Dave, are there any other uh, key takeaways uh, that would be of interest? Yeah, well, I guess one thing that, that I found particularly interesting were that there were two medical device companies of scale uh, that defaulted uh, largely as a result of, of product liability issues. Uh, we talk about that in the article. Uh, and then another element of the report talks about uh, the rules around uh, recording reserve, legal reserves under U.S. GAAP and why that is often not uh, a best estimate of the ultimate liability. Very interesting, Dave. I want to thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for today's version of Credit Matters TV.